Yeah, hi ho, here I go, like beer I flow, I steer my boat. <laughs> yes, sir, on the track I flow, cut slack like rope, drop bars like soap. In the car I toke, cigars and dope, stay fly like a birdie under par one stroke. <laughs> yeah, you won't get it till tomorrow. Stuck on point like a dart throw, post it. See me on the wall like an art show, talking about lights, but where did all the stars go? Check it, uh, yeah, put your iPhone down, gather round, gather round, cause I'm home now, turn the eye home down, you're in my zone now, and I gotta keep it comfy up in my hometown, but, yo, mirror, mirror on the wall, on the wall, who's gonna really be the first of all, uh, no, 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 not me, I write my own lyrics and I make my own beats, huh, yeah, and I tell you that's peace, I don't ever go to work, I just go and take a seat, then, Repeat, tap both feet, spark that shit, lean back in seat, and uh, I never work like an antenna, set a 757, I gotta be representative from any other state, make friends, not competitors, when I'm in the motherfucking house like the senators. What is good people over on the Ink channel? It's your boy Bongo Jenkins, aka YouTube's laggiest commentator, and I am a new member of Inkland Killers. I'd like to thank them a lot for having me over here. And the gameplay you guys are seeing in the background is 167 KD gameplay on the map Only Use Me Raid, and I am using that PDW, but this gameplay, as you guys can see, is post patch because I'm using the cyborg camo. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I actually go on a 54 gun streak this gameplay and pick up a kill chain. So uh, yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoy that, but the gameplay is not too important. I want to talk to you guys a little about what I just finished watching. What I just finished watching was the Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer reveal over on the Call of Duty YouTube, and it was absolutely amazing. Let me tell you, I expected to be disappointed with what they were going to do because of how, you know, Black Ops 2 was. Black Ops 2 is kind of a letdown, and all you guys know that. Um... And, you know, what they're bringing to the table this year with Call of Duty Ghosts, with IW, Infinity Ward, is amazing. I love what they're doing. They're going to have a lot less controllable kill streaks, a lot more kill streaks that, you know, you're just calling on the go. And I like that, you know, because it shows a lot more uh, gun kills and gun skill. You know, so you know, it's going to be a really, really, really big part of, you know, Call of Duty Ghosts. And we found out so many things that I'm going to talk about in this video, guys. So sit back, relax. Get your popcorn ready. Do whatever you have to because this is going to be a good one. All right, guys. Jumping right into it. First thing that uh, we saw was the actual teaser trailer. Well, it wasn't really a teaser trailer. It was more or less just a multiplayer trailer. And uh, I, I was very impressed with it. Um, you know, it looked really good. And they actually showed that there was going to be a Moab in there. And it's not going to be called a Moab. It's going to be called an Odin Strike. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty beastly name. Don't get me wrong. Odin's like a god or something. So, you know... A strike coming down from the heavens, killing everyone. <laughs> That's pretty fucking crazy, if you ask me. <laughs> but uh, you know that we find out. Uh, well, we found out that the uh, Moab or nuke, whatever, is gonna be back in the game, which you know is huge for you know Ink and a lot of other you know pub stompers out there, uh, YouTubers that you know get gameplays. Because, you know, in Black Ops 2, the nuclear was there, it was stale. All it was is, you know, a little picture that popped up, a little metal that popped up on the screen saying nuclear. Ah, it's kind of a letdown. But, you know, knowing that they're going to have, uh, you know, the Moab or the Odin Strike and Call of Duty Ghost is exciting for me. And I know you guys are excited too. Um, another thing, we saw that they're going to have the, uh, it's not going to be called Create a Class anymore. It's going to be called Create a Soldier. And what that is, is where you can basically customize your soldier uh, in depth. I think they said there were like over 20,000 options or something like that you could do with the Create a Soldier. So that's going to be crazy. You know, no telling what you're going to see out on the battlefield. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to that, guys. Um, another thing that we saw is they're going really in depth in Elite. And uh, that's what I really, really, really want to talk to you guys about because I know uh, all you guys over on Elite or on Elite that are on, in Ink, you know, are like serious about that. And what they're going to be doing in Call of Duty Ghosts is huge. They're going to be having um, squad battles. They're going to be 
having ranking systems where you gotta fight for areas and you gotta win so many games and it's just gonna be crazy guys um and i know ink is gonna be number one that we're gonna we're gonna be fighting and we're gonna be just destroying everyone who stands in our way so look forward to that guys we're gonna be bringing you the get the best gameplays over here whenever call of duty ghost comes out so look forward to that um <laughs> like i said i was very impressed with what i saw um there's so many things the guns look really nice um there were a couple of things that i saw that I wasn't too excited about. The uh, the hip fire looked very powerful in the game. I'm not sure if they were all using Steady Aim Pro. Um, <laughs> they could be, but I also saw that they changed a lot of the names of the perks. Um, you know, I saw one called Off the Grid, and I assumed that was Ghost, but you know, who knows? They also introduced seven new game modes. One of them is called Crank, and uh, it's kind of a it's kind of a game mode where you have to move. You have to move. Because if you don't get a kill within 30 seconds, your character blows up. So you can't be sitting in a corner, which is amazing. So <laughs> I think I think that's pretty rad. Um, they brought back specialists, which is amazing. Of course, they bring back specialists as they're going to have the Moab or the Odin Strike. Um, they brought back support, but they said the lethality of it is not going to be as much as it was in Modern Warfare 3, which is, you know, exciting. But uh, yeah, guys, I was uh, I was just really stoked for how you know how it all played out in the multiplayer reveal, and I hope you guys did watch it. If you did, leave a comment down below, letting me know and letting us know what you thought about the multiplayer reveal and what you're most stoked to see about in Call of Duty Ghost. But anyways, guys, this video is wrapping up. If you could leave a like down below and check out my channel, I'm sure the link will be in the description. Um, but until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. I said I'd be going Wonka. I could take the whole factory. Actually, then I get some Charlie Bucket. Fuck it. Make a chocolate rain on them bitches when I bump it in. They don't gotta back it up to dump it. Right? Tip it low, then bring it up slow. Yeah, million got them on the flow. And if you do not get it, then I will never slow. And I will not explain. That's why you got a Grandpa Joe. So, I'm with me. come with me if you really want to see a little world of pure imagination. Yeah, go ahead and